Hi, this will be a short video showing you how to install and get Frog running. First we go to the GitHub repo where all the code is stored and we copy the clone link. Then we go to a terminal window and we clone the link that we just copied. So make sure that you have git installed as well. Now we have frog in this new directory and all the files that are needed. I want to make sure that I also have node installed and at least version 8. I do. Then I'm going to go into the frog directory and do meteor dash dash version to make sure that I have meteor installed. And I do. So I'm going to go back up and I'm going to run initial setup. So this will download all the packages and prepare the different components of frog to work together. Right now Babel is compiling all the code uh, that is ES5 JavaScript into ES6 and uh, now we're ready. So I'm going to split the screen or you could open two terminal windows. In one of them I'm going to run run and watch all and this will start a watcher that will recompile the code of any of the dependencies if I uh, make changes to them. So I'm going to go into the frog directory on this side and I'm simply going to run Meteor. Meteor uh, will automatically upload, uh, up, download the latest version of Meteor, which might take a, a while. It will download the Meteor specific packages, it will compile all the code, and it will start a local development version of Mongo, which is the database that we're using. You see there's a few um, warnings here, but they are not a problem. Uh, as long as the last, now you see it started MongoDB, and the last thing you should see is uh, that the app is started and it's running at localhost 3000. So now we are ready to go back to the browser and we'll go to localhost 3000. And we see that uh, we are not logged in. Now, if you were using this in production, there are different ways of letting students log in, such as uh, LTI through Moodle or Blackboard. Um, but during development, it's useful to be able to quickly test with different users. So uh, we're going to log in as the teacher because we want to access all the editing tools. And there we have access to Frog. So that was all for the installation. And uh, in future videos, I'll show you how you can use the interface and how you can create new activities.